name is Jenny Scott. I'm a manager in our mine development group under our engineering technology and capital department. And I work for Nutrien. By background, I'm a geologist. And so what I have done historically is worked underground in our potash mines as a geologist. Um, so that includes going underground on a daily basis, uh, working with operators and, and senior leaders to look at ground conditions and assess uh, the geology and make sure we're making safe mining decisions. Um, also instrumentation readings, doing things like um, ground penetrating radar uh, and various other activities underground. Uh, now I'm in more of a man management role, so my team uh, supports all of our potash sites in areas like mine planning, uh, backfilling, and shaft uh, rehabilitation. As a geologist, my typical workday uh, would be going underground on a daily basis and working with our operations crews uh, to make safe mining decisions, looking at geology and assessing safe, uh, the safety and deciding how to cut through it with our big mining machines. Um, I'm now in more of a management role, so I work mainly out of our downtown uh, location in Saskatoon, so that's out of an office, um, but I work with all of our potash sites with the mine engineering departments, um, and we cover areas like uh, safe mining uh, with ground control, rock mechanics, uh, mine planning, uh, shaft work, uh, ventilation. We cover sort of the whole gambit of mine engineering uh, responsibilities. So we basically act like a support to all of our potash sites. So to be honest, when I graduated high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. And so I, I felt like I should go to university because I had good marks and more because I just didn't know what else to do. Um, so I did, I went to university and I started by doing a general arts degree um, and taking a lot of elective classes and I sort of stumbled upon geology. So I took the geology 101 course and I fell in love with it. Uh, that ultimately led to me walking down the hall one day seeing a poster for an exchange. And I thought, hey, that'd be cool to go somewhere. Uh, and I ended up, ended up going to the University of Hawaii in Hilo. Uh, so basically took a whole bunch of geology courses in Hawaii. And uh, that just honestly made me love geology that much more. I got to go explore volcanoes and labs were active waterfalls. Um, you know, it's, it's, it just drove my passion that much more. So I continued with geology once I came back, back home and that was sort of it. Uh, and then I graduated and honestly didn't really think that mining was an option. You know, a lot of, a lot of my classmates were going into the oil and, ga oil and gas world. Um, so that was sort of, you know, the well-known thing in the geology world and where to go to. But I, I came across the potash, a potash mining opportunity, I guess, or job posting. And so I went for it. And uh, as part of that, uh, I got an interview and my interview took me underground and toured me underground. And that just fueled my love for, for mining and potash. And, you know, it's, it's, I've loved it ever since I started. And that was back in 2008 when I entered the potash world. So in order to become a geologist, uh, you need to go to university and get a geology degree. Uh, so generally that's a four year degree. Um, so I studied geology at the University of Regina. And once you have your degree, you're free to enter the workforce. Um, you, you can't call yourself a professional geologist until you have uh, been working in that field for four years and have uh, um, submitted reports and basically written a test uh, with, with the provincial association. So um, here in Saskatchewan, that's called APEG. So it's the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists. So once you've written that test uh, and received your professional geologist, then you can practice as, a, as a, a PGO, we call ourselves, or a professional geoscientist. To be good in a geology role, you have to be curious and you have to be sort of a, a big picture thinker because not everything's black and white. Uh, in the geology world, you know, things have changed over time and morphed and uh, so you kind of have to have that perspective. But, but really, if, if you're curious and you like adventures, uh, you're probably a pretty good fit for a geology role. I love the people I work with. 
Uh, the mining industry is a community and we have great people. Uh, whether it's operators underground or uh, you know our senior leaders at our mine sites or in our downtown office, we've got great people we work with and they're all looking out for you. So that's my favorite thing. Um, the other great thing about working in our potash mining industry is just going underground. For me, it's you can't beat a good trip underground. Uh, I love it and I think a lot of people do um, to be able to essentially travel back through time. You know, you're going underground through layers of, of the earth. Uh, you know, 360 million years ago, this deposit was, uh, the ore body was deposited. So it's just fascinating to me. And so I love it. I love going underground and seeing what, what the earth did and seeing how we can, how can we get those resources out of the earth safely so that we can essentially feed the world and, and make fertilizer not just for geology but any student what I would say is uh, be a sponge so what I mean by that is always ask questions be curious and listen uh, everyone around you will have awesome insights and experiences and wisdom to share and and generally people want to share that wisdom so ask questions soak it all in the other thing I would say is uh, say yes to opportunities so for myself, you know, whether it, it was, you know, going on an exchange and, and going to school in Hawaii, or I did a work experience in Finland, actually, and worked in a, in a geophysics lab there, um, those opportunities wouldn't have happened if I, if I got scared and said no. So be curious and, and say yes to opportunities, and you'll, you'll surprise yourself with where you end up. Honestly, our mining industry is becoming more and more inclusive, um, but but certainly we have room to grow. And so for myself, when I started in potash mining, you know, going underground, I was the only female out of 300 or so workers, um, but that didn't stop me. So my advice for people who, who maybe are more diverse than what our typical workforce is, you know, my advice is just go for it because you're gonna be the change. You're gonna make the change. I'm not the only female who goes underground now. At Nutrien, we have lots of females. And so we need those females to be groundbreaking, right? We need people to, to lead that and in order to drive change. So go for it.